Good morning everyone and today's lesson is creating a jigsaw puzzle out of the coat of arms. Ask your parents to cut it into seven pieces which are the seven elements. For the child who doesn't have access to a printer, check the description box and there you will find a URL address and this will direct you to a virtual jigsaw puzzle. After assembling the puzzle, all four year olds are to write the coat of arms. As always, find me on Instagram under Brain Bullets Tutoring. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Michaela Alfonso, for more content. The coat of arms incorporates important historical and indigenous elements of Trinidad and Tobago. They are the shield, the hem of the special design, the mantle in which covers the hem, the reach to hold the mantle in place, the crest that supports, and the motto. Let's go more in depth into this. Firstly, there's the crest. The crest is a fruitful or bearing conventional palm with five branches. Can you count those five branches for me? The palm represents a central figure on the great seas of British colonial Tobago. Point out the crest on your puzzle. The second element is the wreath. So, the wreath is a rope with six parts using the two colors of the crest or the mantle. Can you put together the crest? And then the read for me. Now that you have those two elements, point out to the crest and then the read. The third element is the mantle. The mantle is derived from the queen's mantle, a red cape lined with white fur. Can you spot the white fur? Excellent, you're doing so good. Now you have three parts to your puzzle. Good job! The fourth part of the coat of arms of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is called the helm. It's just a short word for helmet. The helmet from the royal coat of arms adapted from the five bars with the red interior. Can you spot it? The fifth element is called the supporters. They are just the two birds. Could you spot them? On the left hand side is the scarlet ibis, the national bird of Trinidad. On the right hand side is the cocrico, which is the national bird of Tobago. They are both shown in their natural colors. The shield is the sixth element of the coat of arms. There you will spot two hummingbirds. Next, you will also discover three ships that represent the Holy Trinity. Last but not least, the colors of the national flag are also displayed on the shield. Red, white, and black. The seventh element is the Three Peaks. It commemorated both Columbus' decision to name Trinidad after the Blessed Trinity and the three peaks of the southern mountain range, called the Three Sisters. When you look down at the bottom very closely, you will see our motto. Together we aspire, together we achieve. 